Welcome to Operations Management course. The topic of this lecture is linear programming. All the topics that we covered so far together are all very important. Linear programming is one of most popular management science methods being used in industry today. We will learn the fu fundamental concepts of linear programming in this lecture. Look at the structure of this course again. This lecture will introduce linear programming to you. Linear programming is an optimization tool that helps managers to make decisions given many constraints they face day to day. Among many optimization problems, it can be used to determine the capacity of production or service offerings and many other problems. This lecture is broken into three parts, the substance of linear programming and the re relevance of linear programming and the graphical solutions of linear programming. First topic, the definition of linear programming. Many operations management decisions involve trying to make the most effective use of an organization's resources. Resources typically include machinery, such as planes or equipment, or labor, such as pilots or, or people who are working in the factory or services, money, time, and raw materials. Those things are involved in business. These resources may be used to produce products or services. Linear programming is a widely used mathematical techniques designed to help operation managers plan and make the decisions necessary to allocate resources. How does linear programming look like? Look at this picture. As you can see, this picture has all linear lines. It does not include covalent equ equations. And red lines are binding constraints and this shaded area is feasible region. Amongst this feasible region, we are supposed to find the best point that maximizes profit or usage or minimize the cost. That is called linear programming. The second topic of this lecture is the relevance of linear programming. Linear programming has many uses and it is widely used in many areas in businesses. First, scheduling. Scheduling school buses to minimize the total distance traveled when carrying students. That can be done using linear programming. Also, scheduling tellers at bank so that needs are met during each hour of the day while minimizing the total cost of labor. That's another topic of linear programming. Another topic is product mix. Selecting the product mix in a factory to make best use of machine or labor hours available while maximizing the firm's profit. Fourth topic is distribution system. Determining the distribution system that will minimize total shipping costs from several warehouses to various market locations that can be done using linear programming. Fifth, to fifth topic is developing a production schedule that will satisfy future demands for the firm's product and at the same time minimize total production and inventory costs. Sixth topic is allocating space for a tenant mix in a new shopping mall to maximize revenues to the least uh, to leasing company. These are some ex examples. It's a powerful tool, and that's why we are learning the background rationale for this method. Here's the linear programming procedures. There are five steps, and let me introduce them to you. Step one is setting objective function. It can be either maximization or minimization. Maximization falls to profit or resources. Minimization usually comes to 
pollution or cost. Step two is spelling out constraints. Given the objective function, we need to find out what constraints are there out there. Step three, draw constraints. Once you find out all the constraints, you want to draw them on the graph and visualize them and try to find the feasible region, which is step four. Identify feasible area and corner points. Step five, plug corner points into the objective function to discover the solution. And you will pinpoint the, um, the combination that will maximize your profit or minimize the cost.